I'm always curious about these things. I had to look. No, Oklahoma has not been a 20-point underdog in any game in the last 20 years. Yeah, I just went back and looked. But we got the Sooners as 20-point dogs this week at Ole Miss. Are the markets overreacting or underreacting to the Sooners' struggles? Let's talk about it. Teddy Covers from wagertalk.com with a big game breakdown right now looking at the free Wager Talk live odds screen. I'm seeing Ole Miss minus 20 as a prevailing number, total of 49 for this college football showdown on Saturday. Before I talk about the game, I do want to let you guys know there's a great offer right now. So this time of year is the best. You know, uh, It's busy, but it's the best. World Series, NBA for me. We have college hoops on the horizon, obviously college football, NFL. Get every play, every day, in every sport. Nothing more to buy. No bait and switch. 5% is included. Just 249 bucks for the next 30 days. Take advantage of that package right now. You can use it on me. You can use it for any of the cappers at wagertalk.com. That's a good deal. <laughs> and if you want to get on board, I always say don't buy a play, buy a package. 249 for the next 30 days, every play, every day. It's a good deal. Check out my page, wt.buzz backslash tc. So, we have Oklahoma as a 20-point underdog. I just checked. Three times in the last 10 years, they have been double-digit dogs. All bowl games. Florida State, LSU, Alabama. They lost all three straight up. But they covered the spread twice in defeat in those contests, so it's not like they were badly uh, outclassed. That said, the markets are crashing on this team right now, and deservedly so. They lost to Texas 34-3, then maybe lost that same game twice. The South Carolina beat them on Saturday 35-7. Good for Oklahoma to get out of town, but they're not that good a team. Certainly offensively, this team's struggling in every which way. They're dealing with cluster injuries on the offensive line all years, and the wide receiver injuries have been on center stage the last few weeks. Their leading receiver, Deion Burks, he's questionable for Saturday. He's got a grand total of 201 receiving yards for the season, 7.7 yards per carry, or per catch, I should say. That's their leading receiver, 201 yards, 7.7 yards per car- uh, catch. It's been a problem when it comes to the receiving court, and they're not healthy this week either, even with Jackson Arnold being named the starter for Saturday. He's got under 50% completions over his last two starts. There's urgency right now for Ole Miss. They lost to LSU by a field goal. They lost to Kentucky by a field goal. Both times as favorites. This team cannot afford another loss. In between, they annihilated the same South Carolina team that just annihilated Oklahoma. It was a 27-3 road win for Ole Miss, the same team that Oklahoma just lost to in non-competitive fashion. There's no comparison between these two teams. Brent Venable's seat is getting awfully hot right now. I think this is a kill spot for the home favorite. If I'm playing, I'm laying. Give me Ole Miss minus the points. We appreciate the likes. We appreciate the follows. What do we have? More than 180,000 of you now following the Wager Talk YouTube channel, which is insane. That's awesome. If you haven't done so, do it right now. The like, do it right now. And of course, tell us what you think. Comments below, always appreciated. Best of luck. Thanks for watching Wager Talk TV.